Let's get our tinfoil hats on, folks. Welcome to another Rogue's uh, Ramblings. This is going to be a lot of rambling. Um, obviously, you know, we're on the brink of World War Three here. I've been... I might get choked up talking about this just because of the courageousness of people. Uh, since this bullshit started with Ukraine. Um, now, my sources are, are varied. Uh, I'm seeing shit from... Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, Philip DeFranco, um, you know, I'm seeing all these different reports. And even if they're true, uh, are just insane. Uh, I think last night I saw, or maybe it was the night before, that 1,500 civilians have entered the Ukraine uh, to fight for them. These are non-Ukrainians. Uh, they're not sanctioned by their governments. So these are people, whether they are military, ex-military, or just civilians. Um, even th if that's true, that's fucking insane. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and also it's crazy. Now, like, I did, I, I know there's one crazy-ass Texas dude over there. I think he's, like, late 50s or somewhere in, like, early 60s. Um, I saw a video of him, and he's like, "Woo, these boys are ready to kick ass!" Fucking make fun of that dude all you want. You know, he probably talked some shit, and he's, he's like, "You know what? Fuck it." And he went and he's backing it up. He's there. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but he's there. Uh, <clears throat> but even, uh, and I'm sure, even if we have military personnel from whatever country is caught, they will be disemboweled, and they were to probably told they're going to be disemboweled like some Mission Impossible shit. Um, <clears throat> but what bothers me, and it's not even that, that this is being a human should fill you with fill you with hope that, you know, there's people that have no, well, if this can turn into a world war, then we're all, we all got skin in the game, but that right now have could just live their life and not be bothered with this. It's especially Americans, but, you know, everyone in the EU, England, uh, and these people are are going there. And once again, I'm sorry, I, I, I may get off on tangents here, but what bothers me is no one ever did this for the Iraqi or Afghani people. It was obviously a war on terror, um, to find stuff that was never there. Obviously, like, and I've, I have many friends that, that served in that war. Excuse me. Uh, you look at any of the, uh, special forces guys or Navy SEALs now, um, that are like on social media, they have podcasts, Instagram stuff, uh, they talk very highly of the men and women they stood next to and the people they would save. So the fact that we have all these people going to bat for the Ukraine and not being ordered to do so, as far as we know, is nuts. I understand why no nation is going to go in there because we're trying to stop a nuclear war with a fucking psychopath. Uh, but no one sees like like what the fuck's going on here like this is so goddamn touchy <clears throat> you have and by the way I don't hate Russia I hate fucking Putin and people that stand behind him obviously there's been a shitload of Russian uh, people protesting this war and they're probably fucking dead or in jail for the rest of their life for doing so because they have a fucking psychopath, you know, running the show over there. But the fact that a fucking comedian, Canadian or comedian uh, TV show host is running a country, f like s standing there, staying and fighting with their people, and we're he's, he's asking for help from the outside, which he's getting. Whether it be bodies for fighting or or 
satellites for internet access. Uh, he's fucking getting it. And this hasn't happened in the past 20 years of the U.S. being at war with the Middle East. What's what's so special about this? I don't get it. Why? This is this is this bothering the fucking shit out of me. I mean, as of like the past two days, 48, 72 hours, uh, they were shelling Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Russia was. What what are what's your end game here? Is it to destroy the world? Because obviously this is scorched earth. Like, there's no scenario where they cause that to go nuclear, where Russia's in good. You know what Putin is? Putin is not like a violently autistic kid with a gun. And the rest of the world is trying to get the gun away from him with no one getting hurt. That's what he is. He's a fucking autistic kid with tools of destruction. Fuck him. You know? And fuck anyone that stands behind him. Or... I I don't think that... uh, Fuck him. But the fact... That were s- why that uh, discuss below. I would love to hear anyone's idea if you fully watch this video. Like, there's I think there's way more to this than we think. And like I said at the beginning, put your fucking tinfoil hat on because, and and I'm sure like I've already I've probably not said some things that I've already thought about saying in this. Uh, but my mind's just going at a thousand miles an hour right now, um, trying to stay on track, and wonder why the fuck is it because of social media? Is it because like everything is so out there? But why didn't we have civilians from other countries going to help the Iraqis fight against Al Qaeda or ISIS? I can't just think that's a racism thing or a xenophobia thing. Like, I, I think, I, I, I just don't know. It's super weird. Like, think about it. 20 years, we were in the Middle East fighting. We had no civilians going that we know of going to try and save the Iraqi people from Al-Qaeda or ISIS. It's just the military. This, granted, the Ukrainians are bad motherfuckers they're staying and fighting against their own will or not they're staying and fighting and they're holding off and they're holding off the Russian military civilians mixed with military personnel go motherfuckers go but it's super weird it's just super weird to me that people are going and helping this out It seems like there's something we're missing here. There's a fucking curtain covering something. There's smoke. I don't know. The the left hand's doing something while the right hand's doing this. Tell me what you think. Go rush. No. What are you doing? Go Ukraine. Fuck Russia.